These, both as a two-year-old and as a three-year-old. She's been competitive with them, but they're a pretty good bunch. Yeah, they they sure are. And I loved her run in the Silver Shadow first up behind Amina there. So, um, yeah, she's had that extra week um, between runs. And, yeah, I, I think it's really well placed here from Kieran Maher. And Snow and May, O'Shea, Charlton, they've got a really good hand in this race, of course, with um, more territories as well, a filly uh, that you like. They're loading up nice and quick here, and uh, it's going to be a really, really exciting race. Here we go. The T-Rose stakes uh, for the three-year-old fillies. Group two, over 1,400 metres. Look to be the last two. So Amina moves in. More territories locked away. And the light is on. Ready to go. And the T-Rose stakes. The fillies are set to fly and away they go now. Snow in May a bit tardy out off the inside. And Manal jump particularly well. So do Autumn Glow on the outside is moving up on the outside of Manal. Pretty steady tempo in the early part. Erno's Q pushes through on the rails, going to third from Bella Khadija. They're followed then by Snow in May from Moored Territories. Taken back, Amina will park on the outside of Elmore Zillow. So it's Manal in front, hacking along in the lead, bailing to the favourite Autumn Glow. They're followed by Erno's Q, railing to third. Bella Khadija white out around Lazura. Then Snow in May from Moored Territories, Elmore Zillow, and a half the outside to Amina. So about seven lengths covering the field inside the 800, and Manal being cuddled by a half length now to Autumn Glow. Followed then by Uno's Cube, right on the back of the speed from Bella Khadija and Lazura, right there between runners. Further back to Snow in May, Moored Territories, Elmore Zillow, and on the outside, Amina is last of all. So it's Manal and Autumn Glow, the two favourites, stride for stride, turning for home. And Manal on the fence just leads from the Autumn Glow, just given a live and up down the outside. And now Autumn Glow lays down the challenge to Manal. Autumn Glow and Manal, stride for stride. Erno's cued the fence and then came Lazura. It's Autumn Glow. She's really starting to use this action of hers. And the Phillies bounding away with the T Rose. Autumn Glow remains unbeaten. Jumping out of the ground, Snow in Maze in a photo for second with Manal, followed by Lazura. Then came Erno's cue from Elmore Zillow, more territories, Amina, and Bella Khadija was last to finish. Is she good? Damn straight she's good. She's a Group 2 winner now and uh, aiming towards the Group 1. She's by the Autumn Sun and Maya will not stop her. The obvious favourite from a flight state's point of view. She's actually a nomination and paid up so far in all Caulfield guineas does she tackle the boys after that. But she's really, really good, uh, Lizzie and Katie. Katie, I'll start with you. Your prediction? Ah, perfect. Yeah, absolutely. Isn't she an absolute star? She, I must say, James, from a speed map point of view, probably didn't want to ride her like that, but he had to because there just wasn't any natural speed in the race. So a super ride before, and had so much um, confidence in this filly because you could see that he could have quite easily have put a lot more pressure on Manal, but... He had so much confidence in, in the filly that he, she was always going to beat Manal, and yet he took all the other horses out of play because they were going so slow in front. So 